Hey guys, I'm Nick with Technic, and in today's episode, we're going to get up close and personal with this microscope solution from Apexel. Let's go. All right, so sometimes in life, you need to see something up close. You need to get nice and tight. You need to get in there and see the grit and the grime and the funk and the grease and the putridness of some. I always think anytime something zooms in of like Ren and Stimpy, one of those shots of like a nose pickery and it's like, nee, 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 and like zooms in. But anyway, that's what this is. And it does it working with your smartphone. This is a product from Apexel. Apexel. Hey, hey, Apexel, how you doing? This is a 200 times smartphone microscope. So this is going to clip onto your uh, smartphone and actually work with the device to work as a microscope. It says here it has instant sharing. You do not need an app. High resolution with 200 time magnification. Now I'm going to pretend like these stats mean something to me. I can assure you they don't. We have four elements in four groups for the lens structure. Hmm, sounds like the right amount of that. Uh, the coating is multi-layer. It's a 5 volt input with a battery capacity of 3.7 volts or 120 milliamps. Battery life is 120 to 240 minutes. It has a picture that says without a microscope what it would look like and then with the microscope. Uh, the 200 time microscope brings you different visual effects to observe and discover the invisible micro world around you. Small size, lightweight, only 18 grams, easy to carry. That's less than a bowl of Fruit Loops, I think. High resolution photos and videos can be taken and shared with friends immediately. Unfortunately, you will have to have friends to use this. That is a hell of a caveat. I just needed a microscope. Now I got to go out and meet people. Thanks a lot, Apexel. Thanks a lot. At least you'll be, be able to get a good look at them. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Could you stay right here real still? I'm just going to put my phone over you. It's, t it's totally natural. Just don't move. You're a little clogged. Your pores. It's a little gangy in there. We're going to work it out. I got this all natural scrub I sell on Facebook to my friends and family. I torture them with the ads. You're welcome. I'll cut you a deal, full price, for friends and family. <laughs> Join me. And if you don't buy my stuff, I'm going to put you on blast. My friends and family never support my business. They are ready right there to run to Walmart and buy their stuff, but they won't buy from me. I cook up my Noxzema in the kitchen. What's the problem? I can think of a whole lot of problems. But anyway, let's microscope it up in the box. I got a little carry case because let's be honest, you plan on taking this with you everywhere you go. Truck stops, whip it out. Uh, I don't think so. I don't need syphilis. Anywhere you go, the produce store. You know what? I think that pineapple might be in early stage rot. Let's see. And then you go, oh, it's got about four days before that one turns. Uh, in the case we have the microscope, it says here clearly in case you question, 200 times zoom on this microscope. We are going to see things that we never wanted to see, okay? Um, I wouldn't use this on your fast food items. You probably don't want to know. Anyway, this clips on the phone. Uh, we got a charge cable and uh, we've got a little cleaning cloth because you know what? Your images are only going to be as good as you are clean, you filthy animal. All right, and then this just is going to clip over the camera. It says to turn on. We're going to do a hard hold here for three seconds. So the little cleaning cloth that came with it uh, this is what we're going to do. You'll see a regular picture and then you'll see the microscope image. The camera is recessed a little bit. So when I started to get results was when I actually put this um, frame directly against the thing that I was wanting in the image. I did the uh, cleaning cloth. Okay, John. So it would bring me, bring me a Nerf bullet. Let's, let's get a look at a Nerf bullet. Okay, so Nerf bullet first taken with an S. 22 Ultra, same camera here. However, we're going microscopic. Um, that actually kind of worked kind of cool. Let's go with the key. We got a Jeep key. You know, man, the camera technology is incredible. Like what we're doing right now, even with just the S22 without the microscope, is something else. Um, we'll get a picture here of the Jeep key. That's cool. All right, what do we want next? Let's go with let's go with Santa hat. It's not Christmas, but it's got some texture here. It's got some 
It's like the Santa hat from Trading Places at the end when Dan Aykroyd's like on a bender. Wow, with the S22 Ultra. That's actually a pretty incredible photo. And then 200 times zoom. You know what? I wonder if I can... Oh my God. I can zoom in on the phone. That's crazy. So I, I actually zoomed in the focal length on the camera as well. Man, I mean... Some of this is gonna make sense when you see it. Some of this is not. Some of this you're gonna be like, what the hell are we looking at? Sure, you know, in videos they always use bananas for reference, for size, so now you know the size of our microscope. Uh, here we got a brown spot, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Let's look at the thumb pads on the Xbox controller. Oh my God, they just threw a controller at me. I think the people behind the camera are getting feisty. Um, we're going to get a shot of this well-used thumb grip. I feel like you can see some of the texture there. So, let's go Ethernet cable. I like it. It's spunky. It's jazzy. It's hip. It's fresh. It's wow. It's now. No All one right. has ever said that about an Ethernet cable. No, they haven't. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going to win some awards with these photos. Are you taking just photos or are you doing video? Let me explain to you what I'm doing. What I'm doing is hitting a microscopic moving target. I don't think <laughs> filming is even in the cards. Okay, bud? Can right. you possibly capture the landscape as you careen past the end of the Ethernet cable in a, a rolling shot of B footage that we can sell to National Geographic? No, John. I'm barely holding it together. <laughs> All right, let's do the nastiest of nasties. A bathroom sponge that we just cleaned the toilet with. <laughs> okay. I appreciate the toss at my face. I know it was purposeful. We will deal with that once we're done filming. What, what do they win for photos? Pulitzer. Pretty sure, guys. I don't know. But anyway, I think like this photo is going to win it. it. This looks like the surface of like Pluto or something like that. Okay, anyway, it is the Pul Pulitzer. The Pulitzer. See, I'm not as stupid as I look. Do not throw the wrench. This is not dodgeball. I cannot dip, dug, dive, dip, God. God. Okay, we're good. Um, let's get a photo of this tetanus laden tool. That looks like it is from the year 1904 and probably was the start of some type of plague. All right, we've got my headphones. Oh, God. I don't want to see your ear funk, man. On top of the terrifying image, my hand is shaking at 200 times zoom, and I feel like I'm on a <laughs> watching the viewfinder here. Two more things. Do you want to hammer the tip of the pin? I don't want a tip of a pin. That just sounds... Let's go. Two more items. We're going to go with a gummy candy, and we're going to do a bonus round after the gummy. Here we go. I thought that was going in my throat for a second. Let's set her there, and let's just zoom closer to a gummy than you ever wanted to be. This thing looks like a meteorite in this photo. Let's get in close. This is beautiful. Like, there's a whole art here. All right, last... Uh, sample, we're going to have a clean tissue and a soiled tissue. It's for science, kids. Can I have the specimen? <laughs> if I throw up, <laughs> if I throw up, keep it in the video, please. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're good. Um... It almost looks like those angel wings that every girl goes and gets her picture in front of. Like if I turn it around, it's almost beautiful. It's almost in a heart shape. I hope you guys see this. Two little hearts. I'm going to I'm taking this picture. You guys are not going to believe what I just saw. All right, and then let's go 200 times zoom. We're going to have to clean the microscope after this one cuz this is going to touch. Oh! Oh my god. Wow, that is actually a very impressive photo. Um, I don't want to die, if you would. Be so kind. This is the grossest thing I have ever seen you two do. I did almost gag. 
when I unfolded it, I don't know if you could see it on camera, and it, it was like veiny and like Spider-Man had just had a fun time in there. Um, so the, the, the performance of this is very good. It is obviously a 200 times zoom. Now, what you're going to use this for, I can't tell you. But I can say that if you want to get 200 times closer to something with your cell phone, this device does it. Um, you know what, guys? Just because we love you, we're going to bring in one last microscopic treat before we go. That's right. The good old-fashioned PB&J. Let's go. It loses kind of its reference point because, you know, it all becomes just a red landscape. But... It is actually rather close. I can't tell if that's peanut butter or there's something on the lens from the snot rag. But I did manage. Why not? Why not? Let's let's put her together like someone's actually going to eat this sandwich of cesspool. And um, I just licked my finger. I'm going to die. If this is the last Technic video that ever loads, just know I caught whatever <laughs> was in the snot rag. I cannot believe I just did that. All right, this is a just standard shot with the S22 that actually got me very close to the bread. Wow, that one was cool. If you're looking for a microscope that you can kind of have, I guess, travel version, I don't know who really uses these or needs these, but it, I have no doubt that it's doing a 200 times zoom. I do think it's a little bit wonky to use, but once you get it set up and once you kind of figure out how to use it, I think the results, you get to see them in the images through the video, I think they're they're pretty good. So it depends on what you're trying to do. But if you're trying to use this to uh, zoom in the hood of a car for a part you lost, that's not really going to work. This thing is really meant to be like a stationary microscope that you're putting a sample under. Guys, I want to say thanks for supporting the channel and coming by and hanging out with us. If you're looking for a microscope or you know someone that is, there you go. We just took care of it in here. That was the Apexel 200 times magnifying microscope for your smartphone. I'm Nick with Technic. See you next time. I'm good. That's actually really good. I don't even have a complaint. You can watch the whole thing. I'm going to eat the whole thing. You can stay here for the whole thing if you want. Zero shame. Zero shame. John's out there like throwing up right now, by the way. John's always Literally throwing up. Just... <laughs> oh my god, he's eating it. <laughs> Deranged psychopath. So I'm like almost vomiting out here, but it's not even close to it, and you're in that bunch of You were for real eating that? <laughs> Nick, come on, man. Nothing Where's even the happened line? to the sandwich. I'm not, even, I'm not fake eating Nothing it. Happened. What are you implying? He straight up put it in the snot, he even commented, in. oh, he snot got in. on it. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Like, he's being dramatic. Snot didn't get on it. Oh, he got on it. <laughs> Don't let me think about it. I might be starting. That's so gross. Well, like, that's so good. gross. You have, you have a problem. That's pretty good. <laughs> Isn't PB and J your favorite? You want a bite? I don't want to be rude. John, 